Hi, my name is Allison, and for my experiment today on touch illusions, I am going to be doing something called the cold penny experiment. This experiment is meant to mess with the receptors in the fingers and trick your brain into thinking that it's feeling a cold sensation in your middle finger when it's not. So what you do is you take three pennies and you put two of them in the freezer for a couple minutes and just let them get cold, and then you have the other one at room temperature. You line them up with the cold pennies on one side, like on either side of the room temperature penny, and you have the subject put their three fingers, their ring, their middle, and their pointer finger. I did that backwards, but you get the point. And you, they set them each on one coin, and it's supposed to make the middle finger feel like it's cold, and then when they lift up their middle finger, it's supposed to not be cold anymore. And so that's my hypothesis. If the subject removes their finger from the penny, they will no longer feel the cold sensation. And yeah, that's my experiment, and I think it's a really interesting one. It's something I've never seen before. So I'm really excited to see how it works. Okay, so you're gonna take your three fingers and put one on each penny. So can you tell me how your fingers feel? <laughs> like, do they feel hot? Do they feel cold? Cold. All of them? Yes. Okay, can you lift up your middle finger for me? <laughs> yes. Does that finger still feel cold? Yes. Can you tell me why you think it still feels cold? Because the coin is cold, so when I lift it up, uh, my hands are also kind of sweaty, so. Actually, the middle coin is not cold. The two outer coins were put in the freezer for a couple minutes, but that middle coin is just at room temperature. It still feels cold. Hmm. Okay, so that was the cold penny experiment. The results really surprised me. I was not expecting that. I was really expecting him to still like to not feel the cold sensation at all anymore, but he still felt it, which I found really interesting because even like after I stopped recording, he was still like, that felt cold no matter what. And I was like, well, that's not what's supposed to happen. So it really surprised me, but I find it really interesting because it can show that like everybody's receptors and in their fingers and all over their body is completely different. And everybody has different levels of sensitivity to hot, cold, pain, all that. So I think it, even though this experiment didn't go the way I wanted it to, I think it helped me learn a little bit more about people. And I thought it was just really interesting because my other past two experiments, I've had them work. Like he was completely tricked, all that. This is the first one where he was like, no, it's like he didn't believe it. So it was a really interesting experiment and I'm glad I got to do it.